Hello and welcome laces and jelly babies to a brand new kind of sort of maybe kind of let's play. Um, it's definitely a let's play but yeah, I'm re-uploading because um, I now have a far better quality mic as well as a far better quality headset so I can actually hear what I sound like on the video. So yeah, um, this is of course Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Uh, playing on normal mode because I figure it, it's a good story game um, and playing it on harder difficulties more for personal preference uh, you don't get quite it the story can be detracted from you know sometimes janky RNG so anyway yeah um, as always uh, I'm going to try and not talk too much if at all over any cutscenes. Um, but yeah, uh, enjoy! Get off that. Drake is refusing to play ball. And yeah. So the game just kind of drops you in at the deep end. No pun intended, actually, with that. Oh, where? 
Ah, they're up here. Yes. Sorry, I'm I'm not actively trying to trophy hunt during this let's play. By the way, it just it. There's a couple of trophies that elude me mostly just because I just don't pay enough attention to do them. Um, they're back. Whiff. Okay, this is, uh, it, to be honest, the, the start is it's pretty easy. Um, to be honest, at this point, you just kind of want to stay behind the boxes, out of the way, so Sully can come along and save you. Um, it's not a bad wee introduction, to be honest, um, into gameplay and stuff, um, especially the fighting and the cover based running, gun and shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Never had any complaints. Okay, <laughs> then I'll jump to the good part just for you. Oh, huh? oh god damn Dorado. He's on to something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Gentlemen, Sully. I know. 
as young as I used to be. Uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, that was different. Although I must admit, equally as strenuous. <sighs> oh, Sully. Well, hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. So, yeah. Uh, quite a... An action packed wee opening, but it's it's a good wee tutorial to get you into the, the swing of things and how the game plays. Um, and to be honest, this is actually not a too bad wee introduction to the, the other half of the gameplay, because you've got a lot of the kind of run and gun and combat stuff, and then you've also got the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the puzzle solving of things and they're kind of exploring different areas. Yeah, as always, um, this episode's probably going to be just a little bit longer, uh, just because it's starting off and there's lots of cutscenes to explain things and get people, you know, introduced to the world and the characters that they're setting up and stuff, so. Uh, also, not going to be um, going to try and collect any treasures that are uh, going to be about, or that could be about, mostly because I've already collected them all and got the trophy for it and stuff. So, oh, it kind of, in my opinion at least, detracts a wee bit um, from the, f the fact that Naughty Dog makes such good games for um, like storytelling. Uh, I think they actually make fantastic games for Let's Playing in general. Because um, there's a lot of story, but they've also got some pretty decent gameplay. Um, don't worry, there's, I, I can pick flaws in all other games, and especially the gameplay, but more often than not, I probably wouldn't because I, I think the gameplay is solid enough um, to make up for it. It's not perfect or anything, but the gameplay is good enough, and then combined with what's really good stories, uh, really good characters and stuff. I have to say, I'm, I'm a big fan of Naughty Dog. Uh, admittedly, I'm a total PlayStation fanboy. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think Naughty Dog definitely put themselves in the map with this game. What a warm and homey place. <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys and the bad girls. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. 
Elena? Please. I stopped any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. The Spaniards sure left a lot of crap. Yeah. Hey. That's it. Hey. Last of Us probably their biggest game, um, and their w most respected game. But I've got to say, I think this one really did, and that's saying something because Naughty Dog, a lot of people forget, made Crash Bandicoot. They also made Jack and Daxter, two really fantastic and really well loved yeah. franchises. Um, but this was the. This is one that they really got a chance to kind of break free and show their chops. And to be honest, while uh, I think Neil and Bruce have done a fantastic job. Um, kind of steering the ship from when Amy left, uh, Amy Henning, that is, uh, I definitely think that they'll, they'll miss her, because she, the way that she put 1, 2 and 3 for Uncharted together was just, like, the amount of research she put into things, uh, it was, it was quite insane, um, especially the, before she left, the research she'd put into 4, and pirates and the stories and the myths and stuff about them. It's quite quite cool. Um So yeah we also got to see uh, a cool wee feature that was uh, that's been present throughout the games and it gets expanded on more and more and that is the um okay it won't let me bring it up at the moment. Uh, the journal. Um, yeah, the, oh, that was very close, um, yeah, the, this game's, I think, it's very underrated, um, in the sense of when you compare it to the three that followed it, um, from now, like Uncharted's one, two, and three, all fantastic games and they they took this game what was good about this game and they fixed a lot of the bad uh, but once again admittedly i am a, a massive sony and naughty dog fanboy so uh might want to take what i say with a pinch of salt but i i honestly think that they're good enough that people should at least give them a try especially if you've got a ps4 um, you can get the first three games for about £30, I think, in the Nathan Drake collection. Um, and they're all remastered by Bluepoint. Um, and it's... They, they did a really good job. Uh, they took out some of the... the more... unpleasant... sections. Uh, in gameplay, they fixed some stuff. Didn't fix everything. Um, yeah, so as I said, the, the journal is quite cool. You get to use it more often. Um, I think if uh, from two onwards, you can open them at any point. Um, you can only really do it when puzzles require you to in this, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, so like he's, he's taking down notes from Drake's journal and you know the, each of these has got a number corresponding to it so as you might have guessed we have to find the symbol and press the button so that's number one the weird kind of box thing and number two is a dude with a dagger then it's a spider, and then it's the mask thing. Uh, I 
not quite what I was going for, but yeah, works. Here we go, dude with the dagger. Spider. Yeah, one one problem this game definitely has is so it's a problem all 3D platformers suffer from, sadly, um, and that's that 3D platforming is very difficult to do. Um, and I think this series as a whole is probably one of the best for it, uh, especially from a, a non first point, from like third point perspective, um, third person perspective. Sorry. Uh, I definitely think this game kind of raised the standards, uh, and the series definitely did, uh, with later um, installments, but there's only so much you can do um, with uh, what you've got initially. Um, as I said, I mean, I like this game, I think it's great, but there's definite flaws um, to it. Okay, getting somewhere. That was another feature. You, you can't see it quite as well in this, um, but I'm probably going to wax lyrical about it <laughs> when it um, when I can show it off a wee bit more. Um, this game was such a kind of a revelation in the sense of. Um, the the fact that see when Drake ran in water, he his clothes got wet, and it was like if if it was only up to his knees, then you know only his knees would get wet. But if he was completely submerged, the whole body would get wet. Um, I've got this one. but um, the um. Yeah, sorry, um, got a bit sidetracked by that there. Uh, but yeah, then slowly, if you were to pay attention to the character model, it'd get drier. So it, it was quite realistic, oh, probably a lot faster than you would dry up normally, but at the same time, just seeing something like that, um, when this first came out on the PS3, was just like, wow, we're here with video games, we can do this? Oh. Um, but yeah, this, this right here <laughs> is pretty much straight out of Crash Bandicoot. Um, yeah. And of course Sully now gets to, you know, just jump over at his leisure. Uh, probably the very still very dangerous way but you know the far less dangerous way um so yeah after that we better be oh walking into a wall won't help Worshipping the damn thing. At least I 
think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the Golden Man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here. Tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out or cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. And that's where I'm going to end for this episode, folks. I'm planning on uploading these slightly more regularly. Um... Thank you for the patience um, for waiting till I got a new mic because the one consistent piece of feedback I was getting from people was the audio wasn't great. And I know it wasn't great, um, but thanks for persevering and putting up with it. Um, and thanks for, for kind of waiting. Um, it, it really does mean a lot. Uh, and I'm hoping now with the better mic and more quality I'll be able to you know, more enjoyable videos for everybody. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, this has been Let's Play Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I've been Dinesell Washington. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the, the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Because that, that, that'd be really awesome. Um, mostly just because it lets me know that people are actually, you know, liking what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye.